Now some shapes with circles in them, or bits of circles. Now look at this diagram here. I've got two straight sides, 17 metres. The shape is 12 metres wide, but there's a circular piece cut out here, well actually half a circle, and there's this half a circle piece added on at the top. Hmm, okay. So if I was an ant walking around this shape, Again, let's pick somewhere to start. How far am I going to walk? Well, I've got half a circle here. I'll come back to that in a moment. I've got 70. I've got another half a circle. And then another 70. So actually, if I have half a circle here and half a circle here, I actually have a whole circle, don't I? So... Let's work out first how far that circular bit is. If it's a circle, I need the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of the circle is pi times the, the, the pi times the diameter. Sorry. Okay, it's pi times, well what's the diameter of that circle? It's 12 metres. I am not going to use 3.14. I am not going to try and work this out in my head. I'm going to get my calculator. Always, always use the pi button on your calculator. Because if you just use 3.14 and later on you're working out some complicated things that need some accuracy, you're not going to be accurate enough. Use your calculator. It knows pi better than you do, probably. Pi times... 12. 37.699111. Do I need all those digits though? Probably not. This is metres. I would say to the nearest millimetre is probably good enough, yes? So the nearest millimetre would actually be here metres, centimetres, millimetres. And if I look at the next digit, it's below 5. So I'm going to round that down. 37.699 watt metres. In fact, I'm guessing 0.7 metres is probably enough, but let's leave it like that for the moment. Round off properly at the end. Okay, so now my perimeter is going to be a half here plus a half here. That's a whole circle. Plus... This 17 plus that 17, which is another 34. In, if you're not confident, get your calculator. Add 17, add 17. 71.699 metres. Now the question might have said, ran off to the nearest two decimal places, 0.70. Or one decimal place, 0.7, or even nearest metre, 72 metres. You have to look at the context of the question. In this case, I didn't tell you anything, so I would do something reasonable. If this is metres, millimetres should usually be enough. Okay, let's try another. Now, this one's a bit different. I don't have a whole circle. I've only got a small section of a circle. How much of a circle have I got? 40 degrees. Okay, 40 degrees. How many degrees would there be if it was a whole circle? That doesn't look very circular, does it? Good enough for this diagram. If it was a whole circle, I would have 360 degrees. I've actually only got 40 degrees. So the perimeter is going to be this curved bit plus this straight bit plus that straight bit. And again, as I've said before, it's better, particularly for perimeter, that you don't try and learn fancy formulas for every possible case. Instead, reason your way through it. What does it mean? Well, this curved part, if it was a whole circle, 
then the perimeter would be the circumference of the circle, pi times diameter. Well, what's the diameter here? The diameter is all the way across the circle, 6 plus 6, making 12. I just worked that out over here, so let's use it. 37.699 watt centimetres. So let's do the perimeter carefully. I need a part of that circle. How much of the circle? 40 degrees. 40 out of what? 360. So let me write what I just said. Out of the whole circle, Messy nine. Let's make that a bit neater. I need 40 degrees out of 360 degrees. See how I did that? If it was the whole circle, it would be 37.699. But it's what fraction of a circle I got? 40 out of the whole 360. Work it out by knowing what it means. Plus, this piece is 6, plus this piece is another 6. You are going to want your calculator. Let's go times 40 on 360, oops, I typed it wrong, plus 6 plus 6. 16.1887. I wrote that because I want to round off to the nearest millimetre, so I need one more digit. This is bigger than five, round this up. 189. And I need to not forget my units. Centimetres. 